Hey, lovelies. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's well. Peace and blessings to you. It's wisdom talk with the Phoenix. And I got some wisdom for y'all. I want to talk to y'all about time. Lord, time. Those who know me personally know I do not like my time wasted. I let you waste my money before I let you waste my time. Why? Because I can take some time. I can spend some time getting money, but I can't buy no more time. So once my time is gone, it's gone. That 24 hours from yesterday ain't coming back. Okay? So again, time, the beggar and the billionaire both have 24 hours in a day. That's 168 hours in a week. Seven days. 24 times seven, okay? Everybody got that same 168 hours. So what are you doing with your time? What do you spend your time doing? Time is a, your most precious commodity, okay? There is nothing more valuable on the planet than time. And a lot of us are wasting it, are using it as a, as a disadvantage, okay? We are sitting around allowing life to happen to us instead of designing and orchestrating our life. Okay, if you can tell me more about the, the housewives and the, the, the real hip hop, whatever the what celebrity is dating who and did what, when, and where, and why, but you can't tell me what's going on in your own life or what you did yesterday, you that's a sign you are wasting your time. If you spend your time watching TV 30 minutes, an hour, these, these shows are designed a certain way where you just keep watching them. And you just stay sucked in. I don't know, y'all like to binge watch shit and all that stuff. That's a waste of time. And not only that, but it's mind pollution. You feeding your mind with crap and wasting time. So that's just, that's even worse, okay? Don't waste your time. Don't do that. My, Dr. Miles Monroe, one of my, one of my many, many favorite speakers, said... I got. I wrote it down. Let me read it. If you know where you're, you want to go, then design your decisions accordingly. What does that mean? If you know where you want to go, then design your decisions accordingly. And he also said, not everything that is good is right. For example, I've had, those of you who've been watching my videos know that I've had I've been in business for a long time. I've had many different businesses. One of those businesses was web design and web programming. I had a friend come up to me that I've been knowing her for a long time, and she asked me if I do websites. Reluctantly, I said yes. Big mistake, okay? While I was doing good, that wasn't the right thing to do. I ended up doing her website for her, and she just still didn't like it. So I wasted my time because I'm not interested in doing websites anymore. That was a business I did years ago. But trying to be right or be good and be helpful, I wasted my time and hers, okay? <clears throat> that's, what, that's what Dr. Miles Monroe means when he says, if you know where you wanna go, then design your decisions accordingly. I made a decision to do our website knowing that's not a direction that I wanna go in. And it was a waste of time. And it wasn't the right thing to do. That's just one example of many examples. I'm sure you could think of many times in your life you have made what was a good decision but not a right decision. And it wasted your time because it's not where you're trying to go. Which again, I talk, I have videos about your, finding your purpose, okay? When you know your purpose, you can design your life and make decisions based on that priority of living your purpose that God has for you. So, excuse me, when you know what your purpose is for the kingdom, the decisions that you make are going to lead you in that direction. If you are still out here wandering around, you don't know what you wanna do, you're wasting time. And trust me, we don't have time to waste. Once that 24 hours is gone, it's gone. You don't get it back. So I'm here to tell you, Take ownership of your life. 
design your days. Look, I used to, I make to-do lists. I still, I got a to-do list here, okay? I make to-do lists of the small things I need to do, the everyday mundane stuff, and the things that I want to accomplish that lead me to my goal, okay? I used to make weekly lists, like on Sundays, I used to sit down and write out what do I want to accomplish for the week for my business, what do I want to accomplish for my family, and what do I want to accomplish personally. So that may be do an extra workout more than what I already do. That may include the kids got a science fair project that they got coming up that needs to be completed. Um, <clears throat> that may include um, I need to submit these documents to the city to, you know, make sure I have that completed for my business. But I put all of that at the beginning of the week, and throughout the week, I design my days accordingly to what my, my end goal is. So now my goal is to empower greatness. That's my God-given um, purpose, is to empower greatness. Everything I do is centered around empowering greatness, speaking life into you, encouraging you, uplifting you. That is the phoenix. Now I know I spent a year trying to figure out what my purpose is, what God has in line for me. What am I supposed to be doing? Now I know. Now I can say no to anything that does not is not conducive to that purpose to save my time and understand when you start moving, the devil's biggest, biggest threat is distraction. Why? Because we, we all got the same 24 hours. But if you distracted with, everybody wants, is gonna want a piece of your time. So you have to govern your time accordingly. What are we meeting for? People who know me know I don't like meetings. You're not gonna waste two hours of my life of my day talking about what we talked about last week. When it could be a phone call while I'm doing something else, we could talk on the phone and you could tell me what you need to tell me. But I'm not gonna sit down and take two or three hours out of my day to sit and meet with you. I don't like meetings, that's a waste of time. Especially when nothing is getting accomplished because we're meeting, that's a waste of time. People who know me personally know I cannot stand for you to waste my time. Ooh, what happened? Okay. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna go too deep into this video, but <clears throat> design your days to create value in your life, okay? You are the author of your life. You are the author of your destiny. You decide where your life is going. It does not happen to you. Life does not happen to you, okay? You design what you want. If you're where, wherever you are right now, you got yourself there and you can get yourself out. Understand the mental programming. I don't know why y'all exchange hours for dollars because you immediately put a cap on how much money you make because everybody got the same 24 hours. If I'm exchanging hours for dollars, I know I only got 24 hours. And whatever dollars I make in that 24 hours, that's my cap. Don't do that. That's the, that's the, that's a very, that's a time killer. That's a time stealer, okay? Changing hours for dollars. No, okay? So this video is kind of long. <clears throat> I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I just want to let y'all know time is of essence. Time is a commodity. Time is precious. Use it accordingly. Okay? This is Wisdom Talk. I love y'all. Be blessed. Bye.